This is still the Tokyo Mata 23 sneaker channel. Mara Tokyo Mata 23 sneaker channel to you. Channel Mega uh, to the master channel Miwa. Uh, and yes, I'm still calling it that because I haven't been able to get in touch with YouTube and get them to change it yet. And I'll, be, I'll explain more about that later in the video because that's not what you guys want to see. You always want to talk about these blazers uh, that are right behind me here. Uh, and I did unbox them on a live video last night, so I'm not going to take too long to talk about it. But there's a couple of things I want to share with you guys and I want to get a bit closer and a bit better light. Uh, so you can have a better look at these guys. So without further ado, let's have a look at the Nike and Sakai collaboration on the Blazers. As I said in the introduction today, it's all about having a close-up look at these right here, the Nike and Sakai collaboration on the Blazers. These ones are called the Snow Beach, I think is what the yellow ones are called. I can't remember what the blue ones are called. I did try for both and I only managed to get these guys here and they are a half centimeter too small for me, but it looks like they might fit. So I might go ahead and keep them anyway, which is great news for me. Uh, before we get into that, a quick word about subscribers. Please do subscribe to the channel. I realized recently that I drop content every single day and I've almost done that for 200 straight days and nobody does that nobody does that like you've got um people like Seth Fowler do it um I can't think of anybody else to be honest who else does uh, daily content but they get paid to do that and I don't get paid to do this I have a full-time job uh, I only have you know 300 odd subscribers so uh, please do subscribe to the channel I think it's worth it daily sneaker content daily sneaker reviews and upcoming sneaker reviews as well so please do subscribe to the channel and I am here in Japan so I do sometimes slip into Japanese a little bit like this え、毎日アップするので、毎日タイヘンです。フルタイムの仕事あるので、この YouTube は趣味だと couple of minutes here um, and I don't usually have my setup like this I usually uh, I'm usually a bit more over to the left or your right as you look at it uh, and I don't have a shoe here I only have a shoe on my right hand side um, but I wanted to, to talk about the box today I talked about this in the unboxing last night that the box has an awful lot of damage on it especially for a box that came from nike.com uh this uh, these guys came in from the sneakers app and not from uh you know a second uh, or third party seller like StockX or something like that uh, and the two places with the the main damage are right here i don't know how well that will show up to you guys i'll try and rotate it a bit and see how much uh that that sort of sticks out there um, but here was the real major piece of damage there you can see right there and um, there's a significant bit of damage there and it looks like it's been caused by whoever opened this box before me really didn't know what they were doing and they had a right yank at uh, this part of the box here to open that there and you can see the creasing uh, on there but then when you get inside there's actually a little bit more damage that we didn't get to in last night's video um so uh and it's it's not much it's not very significant damage and and uh, one of the guys watching me last night, I think it's Me and My Kicks is the name of the channel. Um, and please subscribe to Me and My Kicks. He's a, he's a real supporter of my channel. Uh, he said, you don't wear the box, right? And you don't wear the box. But my, my point is, though, is that what's happened to these guys? How how often have they been out of the box? Uh, and I'm just looking at the sole right now. The outsole to see if there's any, you know, wear on it or any dirt or grime in there as well, which might indicate that somebody's actually worn these. Uh, and the thing inside the box is um, you've got... Hopefully you can see this here, the N with the S down below, which is exactly the same branding that you get on the back of the blazers with the Nike Sakai, the Nike above in bigger letters and the Sakai below in smaller letters. And it's exactly the same there. Um, that, that didn't bother me at all. Uh, I thought, it, you know, it's nice paper and all that. But then when I got inside, there's a second layer of paper like this. Um, and you can see that it's, I don't know how easy it's going to be to see. I don't want to make it any worse, but... Uh, you can see that it's been full-on ripped. Let me let me talk to you through the rip. Hello. 
Hello, hello YouTube. Uh, you can see that it's been ripped there. And again, I'm not worried about the box. Uh, I don't, I, I do keep the boxes to be honest. I have to be honest, I'm a, a box keeper if it's a particularly nice box. Uh, so the Chinese New Year, the uh, Adidas Ultra Boost Uncased Chinese New Year's from 2017, that's a really sort of special box and I did keep that. Um, and I'll probably look to keep this box because it is quite a nice box, but it is damaged in a lot of different ways. And what I, it worries me is, uh, is how much that damage has uh, some kind of connection to the shoe itself having been worn and things like that. Uh, another sort of example of that is this here. Have a look at these guys. Um, these are the replacement uh, laces, the replacement laces for my blazers. Um, I didn't realize they came with replacement laces and I don't think they actually need them black. Why would you need white and black laces on a shoe that's just blue, white and yellow and red? So, uh, but anyway, they come with replacement laces. This one, Hi, there you go, that one was all just strung out like that and thrown into the box. And then this one to me does not look like it's been professionally sort of wrapped up and put together by somebody at the Nike factory. Um, so all of this just leads me to believe that these guys have been on somebody's feet or somebody's had, had them opened. Um, I haven't found any damage on the sneakers themselves. There's no creasing in the toe, for example, um, where if somebody had worn them, you know, and the toe had bent up and creased or anything like that. Like that the leather does look fine and things like that so I am pretty sure that the shoe itself is in good nick but I'd love it if you guys could tell me whether you think I should rock up to the Nike store and say oi give me another box uh, because getting that from Nike.com I think is pretty pretty bad uh, getting it from somewhere like uh, like I said StockX or something like that I think you accept that the box isn't in the perfect condition um, sometimes but to me if I'm getting that effectively I've got that from the store you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I've walked into the store and if they handed that to me in the store, I'd be like, what the heck's this? You know, I like the shoe, but what's going on with the box? Has somebody been fiddling around in there? Um, actually, there's a bit of grime on the back here in the pool tub. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, so tell me in the comments down below, do you think that that's enough for me to rock up to the next store and say, oh, hey guys, what's going on here? Okay, that being said, let's actually have a look at these things uh, here. You've probably seen a few videos um, of them. Uh, like I said, I did a live unboxing of them last night um, when uh, a few people checked in on that. Thank you very much if you checked in on that. Uh, and now I just want to give you guys a close-up look at these guys and uh, uh, so you can have a better look and better light as well. I think the light's better in here than it is in the back room where I shot last night. Um, I was talking about the, the two-tongue effect in here. Um, inside uh, there last night on my video and the fact that these literally are two tongues that's a front tongue and a back tongue what i was expecting was that the one of the two tongues would just be sort of stitched onto the other one there'd be a main tongue with stitching on it but these are actually literally two tongues which i don't know what's going to do to uh keeping them on my feet and keeping it snug to my foot that'll be kind of interesting uh then you've got the laces as you can see um which uh, i found out that this knot is actually important for when you buy sneakers uh, and it is two laces per hole Let's, uh, let's zoom in on maybe there. I hope you can see this. Um, but uh, two laces going through one eyelet sort of thing. So it's not uh, second eyelets for second laces kind of thing. And, and like I said, these are dark blue and white, which kind of matches the rest of the aesthetic of the sneaker. Uh, and then the signature sort of doubling up is that swoosh on the side in red and blue. Uh, the two swishes there on the side uh, and you can see you know it's a really clean shoe clean physically clean but also clean in general you know and uh, and styling uh, as well which uh, which I'm happy about because I was worried that they'd be dirtied by somebody who had worn them ahead of me getting them from Nike so uh, um, so yeah they're very very clean shoe and they have that double stripe uh, double stripe double swish on this side and then um, the double switch on this side as well. Now I have to think about a thumbnail. Uh, what should we go with with a thumbnail? Something like this? That that might make a good thumbnail. Uh, or should I hold up the laces and the, the box and be like, what's this? No, you can kind of complain about them there. Um, and then you've also got these, uh, let's count them, one, two, three, four, four and you come around to the side five and six different sort of um, glued on can we call them mud guards would you guys call them mud guards I don't know um, all the way across there uh, so that double motif that you, you have throughout Sakai sneakers even up here you've got this kind of double uh, lacing system where you've got the blue on the top and the white underneath but that's kind of gone, in, gone into overdrive on the heel here we've got these multiple layers there and then also again up here on the front where we've got the multiple layers uh, and I was saying last night in the video as well 
um, that from when I've got these in hand, you can really clearly see that the uh, the midsole is very sort of a creamy colour, and then these uh, taped on bits that are higher up are, are much more white, the sort of bone white. Um, and also, what I thought was interesting is. Uh, the amount of space given, this is a good place to look at it here, um, you've got the gum sole outsole there and then the amount of space given at the back here where the white rubber sort of comes around. I would imagine on blazers um, that usually it's about this much uh, given to that kind of midsole uh, outsole overlay area but then when you look here with the extra, with these extra sort of panels on there you can see how much extra padding that provides around the outsole on the bottom of the sneaker. Uh, and that's about it, guys. That's about my uh, that's my kind of kind of closer up, better in hand review of the Nike Blazers Sakai collaboration. This one being the Snow Beach. Again, I've said it before. I don't know why they call it the Snow Beach. Uh, I'll give you another close up look at that branding on the back there, where it says Nike in larger letters and Sakai in smaller letters. Uh, but yes, a fine looking sne sneaker, a really great sneaker to add to my um, burgeoning collection of sneaker. Uh, sneakers and sneaker shoes. Now, um, I, I, a quick word about having sneakers in hand. That is my dream for the channel. I want to have sneakers in hand a lot more. Uh, and the only way I can really do that is by growing the channel and getting uh, getting more subscribers. So please do subscribe to the channel and help me grow it, which means I get sneakers in hand more often. And then you get to see these sneakers up close and things like that. So it's a win-win situation if you guys can subscribe to the channel. So please do. And also about that changing the channel name, I did say at the start that I wouldn't waste time uh, at the start of the video and I do at the end and let you know about changing the channel name. Um, basically, one of the main reasons I want to change the channel name is because YouTube offers you a custom URL uh, when you're partner verified and I am partner verified. Um, and I would like that. I think that'd be kind of cool to have a, a custom URL. But talking about a 23 sneakers uh, as the channel is labeled right now, it doesn't work because there's Japanese in the title. So that got me thinking about um, rebranding the channel but unfortunately because I tried out a few different names for the channel to see which one I liked I used up the number of channel name changes that I can actually have for 90 days so it might actually be 90 days before I get to rebrand the channel I do want to rebrand it Tokyo sneakers but you know it doesn't really matter what the name of the channel is what really matters uh, is that I have sneakers in hand and I can show them to you guys at home and the best way for that to happen is if you hit the subscribe button down below Okay, it's time for me to sign off. I will sort of sit up a little bit higher so you can see my awesome Bape t-shirt I'm wearing. I only break this t-shirt out. It's a Bape and, uh, un what, what is it now? Oh my goodness, it's totally gone. <laughs> uh, and it's one of my favorite shoes as well. The, uh, the Jordan 4 Undefeateds are one of my favorite shoes of all time. So this is a Bape and Undefeated collaboration t-shirt and uh, I'm, I'm breaking it out uh, for these sneakers because they're such a great sneaker. And I, don't, I didn't even break this t-shirt out for um, the Bread 4s. That's how uh, high regard I hold these sneakers in. So uh, thanks for checking in today, guys. Thanks for checking in on the live last night if you checked on on that. Uh, thanks for checking in my content regularly. Please do uh, like, subscribe, comment, share and all that kind of stuff. From now, it's time for me to sign off with my is this sneaker going back to the store should i take the box back should i take these laces back you guys tell me in the comments down below for now it's time for me to sign off to say thanks for checking in i will see you tomorrow